what's up guys um, figured if I'm gonna make a channel based off everything I do and uh, my ISF I might as well tell you guys you know what's it about and whatnot so I have a 2008 uh, Lexus ISF in ultrasonic blue pearl it has roughly 116,000 miles um, still drives pretty damn good you know no problems whatsoever uh, pretty quick still you know like 0 to 60 in like no time uh, I think the time is 0 to 60 in 4.5 or, or 4.8 seconds or something like that um, it's 416 horsepower rear wheel drive it's got six piston Brembo brakes in the front um, two piston in the back I believe uh, 19 inch wheels uh, 19 by 8 in the front 19 by 9 in the back uh, you know, 225 tires up front and 255 tires out back. I got Michelin tires on here, so it's pretty sticky. Um, the interior I have is two tone. It's a uh, white and black seats with the uh, all black interior. It's got some blue stitching accents on some of the, the pieces, like um, the, the steering wheel right here, or uh, even on my F Sport shift knob. Yeah, it's got white carbon fiber. Um, trim pieces it's pretty nice it's a really nice cockpit um, I really like it I'm running a, a 400 millimeter Broadway mirror right now so you can pretty much see uh, you can see this window and that window as well as the back windshield that obviously is good because you know blind spots and whatnot I also have a little circle mirror it, it kind of it came with a car I'd never ever in my life use that stuff but it actually comes in handy when like you kind of just want to take a peek to see if anyone's next to you before you turn. Um, I get about 16, 16 miles per gallon uh, city and like 23 highway. It's it's not bad. Um, expect uh, coming from a V8 uh, sedan. Um, it, it's affordable, you know, fifty dollars, sixty dollars a week. Uh, I, you know, I, I don't really live far. I don't really drive highway as much, but. Uh, Besides working and driving on the weekends, uh, I fill up like once a week. But sometimes every four days if I beat the share of the car. Because I live in Florida, all the roads are really, really smooth um, and straight. So there's cops, but you know I know my I know my routes and whatnot. And mods done to the car. Uh, if you're wondering, I have a Josie intake arm, which is pretty much a, li a small little one foot pipe from the throttle body to the uh, the. The air box pretty much um what it is it's just a perfect circle that curves out um tubing it's like a yeah like an aluminum tubing it's just to increase the, the smoothness of the airflow um i noticed the difference on the throttle is a lot smoother and it doesn't feel fidgeting my friend with the other isf i drove that car um the other day because i was working on it it feels weird it feels like a hesitation kind of you know what i mean like you're like like you're tempted to always hit the sport mode button when you're driving because of that hesitation but with me i'm on regular driving mode um no sport mode on uh with the intake arm it feels great you know it feels it feels really responsive in my opinion um in terms of exhaust i have secondary cats deleted and towards the back on the end of the b pipe before it goes to a y pipe um that y pipe is actually eliminated and it's just welded on uh, a dump tube so a dump tube is welded on um, right by where the mid pipe would be and it's really nice because I have no mufflers and all the exhaust fumes actually hit the ground uh, when I'm driving so none of that crap gets stuck on my, my bumper or anything like that only bad thing is I do have you know the quad tips in the back which are fake um, Lexus designed it like that to make it look more aggressive but it doesn't even attach to the exhaust but it's mine's painted black um, so you don't really notice it too much uh, a lot of them come chrome so I'm okay with that you know whatever I'm not complaining it's still an ISF still got a V8 still fast so nothing to complain about there um, I drove away uh, with the Lexon lip the one I installed it's it's not bad like I'm always worried about like hitting it on something or I'm, I'm more cautious of the road now what's on there debris wise um, 
I try to avoid all the things I can. Uh, it does make slight wind noise when you're on the highway going like 80 miles an hour, but it's whatever, you know. Uh, it holds on pretty good. I tested it the other day going to 100, so it's good. Um, yeah, you know, I, I plan to put coilovers on the car that I bought for my friend as well. I, I plan to put the, def the wall diffuser on the car. Um, it's just a matter of time and uh, if I really want to put a diffuser on a, on a stock height. ISF, but I've seen people do it all the time on the forums. You know, they, they run diffusers and front lips and, and their stock height, and it, it looks pretty good. But, um, you know, I'll post more videos as I go. But uh, this is a new channel, so I just want to be able to give you guys some content. There's not a lot of ISF channels or, or any type of video out there, so I'm gonna try to do what most I can for future uh, enthusiasts and future ISF owners so they can uh, kind of have a reference to. What owning the car is about and what you can do you know to the car and you know pretty much like forums and like whatever like they'll, they'll give you all the info you can you just tired of reading shit so just stick tuned to this uh, channel and then i'll try to make any video i can uh, whatever i install whatever i do so you know it's just my tips my opinions you don't have to follow it but it's definitely something to go by um when modding your car or even owning one so yeah uh subscribe if you want like the video if you want but um you know you see a lot more of me in the meantime so Thanks, peace.